we're going to discuss the second uh, fungicide application for foliar disease control on winter wheat um, and what we're trying to do at this stage is we're trying to protect that upper canopy from foliar diseases those diseases that are going to reduce the photosynthetic capability of the plant um, pretty much we need those green leaves to capture the sunlight and convert them into carbohydrates that are going to then be stored into the grains so we're really talking about wet weather diseases normally in Ireland um, I know over the last couple of weeks some places will have had rain had decent amounts of rain and um, other places like Oak Park here we've, we've been pretty dry for, for the last number of weeks therefore we have different levels of pressure um, being experienced throughout the country and this will have a different impact on how we should be targeting our, our final for our, our fungicide application on these leaves what sort of products we, we should be using I suppose the one thing that is sort of consistent throughout all is the timing we're going to have to uh, apply these fungicides when the flag leaf is fully emerged okay so then in terms of products it comes back down to the risk as I say we're mostly targeting wet weather diseases your septoria would be the one that I suppose we're really thinking about but we are aware that certain crops and certain varieties uh, are carrying quite a high level of yellow rust so we have to take an approach that I suppose target both of those diseases depending on the variety so if we're looking at the septoria uh, and as I say we've probably got two different scenarios out there we've got a dry sort of situation where we've got low pressure and the septoria is still down very low at the base of the crop and we've got other places where they've experienced consistent rain over the last number of weeks so if we if we deal with the latter first those that have had uh, experienced quite a bit of rain and um, I'd expect and I've seen in the number of crops septoria up on leaf four that septoria now will be rubbing against that flag leaf that is coming out and if you have experienced rain in the last number of days then you can expect that actually you're going to require curativity so when we're looking at curativity we're looking at um, a good product that's going to give us quite a bit of kickback so we've got a few more few more days the flag leaf might be fully out in those crops so we're going to be requiring something like a, Re a revisol based product in those sort of scenarios and um, I think I, I say that because we're in a scenario now where we look at all the older azoles and we look at the SDHIs and they are compromised in terms of the resistance that is in the septoria population. Revisol at the moment is bringing us uh, quite good curativity and quite good protection so in those sort of scenarios yeah I would be sort of saying where we need that curativity we should be using that product. Um, with that whether it's Revistar or Lintima we are going to need a multi-site so there is a cutoff date of the 20th of May for the use of chlorothalonil um, if before that use of chlorothalonil be that in something like Bravo is perfectly fine and it should be going into the tank after the 20th of May our sort of uh, view from a resistance management uh, sort of standpoint is still that a multi-site is required in that tank so after the 20th of May you're looking at something like Fulpit should be going into that tank to be included as a, an anti-resistance strategy okay and those second sort of group of crops um, that are sort of in, in the areas that haven't really experienced much rainfall in the last month and a half um, I think it's worthwhile getting into crops seeing what level of disease is actually going to be there um, because this will actually help make the decision on how to approach uh, the, the, the program and what fungicides might be applied and um, just looking at the crops even here in, in Oak Park we have a number of different varieties and what you can see is actually even sown on the same sowing date which would have been towards the end of November we can see uh, quite a difference in the level of septoria that would be there and this will have an impact on how decisions on what products to use should be made and uh, the example being this former crop or this crop I'm holding here where I can see very very little septoria down it it have to you have to get down to probably that leaf six and uh, maybe even below that and um, as this crop's going to extend in the next week and um, with no rain forecast it's at a very low risk and um, so I'd expect very little curativity is actually going to be required in this sort of, of a crop and um, the alternative is this crop where we actually can see some septoria even up onto leaf four and in this sort of scenario even in um, the absence of huge rain events there's probably going to be enough to move that inoculum onto that emerging flag leaf because they are at the tip of leaf four is touching that flag leaf so even dews at night might be sufficient to move there so the difference between these two crops will have differences in their programs so the former with very low pressure we could be looking at some of the scenarios such as the older SDHI azoles and of course if it's before the 20th of May chlorothalonil being included in it after the 20th of May fulpit and then in the latter where we actually have that high pressure in the septoria up there in leaf four we may well be requiring that curativity that will be coming from Revisol but I think what is key is actually getting into the crops knowing what the growth stage is at knowing what the pressure is there in that and 
having a good idea of what the forecast is going to be also what the rain events have occurred on your farm over the last 10 days or so will give us an idea of the level of curativity that will be required